the queens. And keep the beauty tees. We're gonna be doing our makeup. And I think I wanna do a drugstore makeup tutorial today just because I bought this. So I don't know if y'all heard that sound or not, but from here on out, I basically had to do a voiceover because I waited till my house was quiet and I thought I was gonna be able to do a talk through just because I woke up early in the morning and nobody was here. But then as soon as I started my intro, everybody came. So I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm using the NYX brow gel in the color black and I'm filling it in. I like this brow gel, but to me it makes my eyebrows too dark. It probably didn't look as dark in the video, but as I went to work, I was just like, mmm, this too dark. But that came out cute. So in this clip, I'm taking my Revlon Colorstay Foundation and my e.l.f. Camouflage Concealer, and I'm using it to clean up my eyebrows. I started with the e.l.f. Concealer at the back of my eyebrows, and I used the Colorstay at the front and on the top. different shade of the elf camouflage concealer and I'm using it to prime my eyes before we put on the eyeshadow now I'm taking my mirage palette by pro fusion and I'm using this orange shade As you can see, this first shade was very pigmented. I really like this palette. I wish they would have added like a dark black or a dark brown so I can create more intense looks. I feel like this is a palette for soft looks and a beginner friendly palette. That's why we ended up creating this beginner friendly look. second shade it's like a lighter orange and I'm using it at the top of the first shade just to blend it out a little bit more next I took the darkest shade I could find in the palette and I used it to sort of deepen up my crease a little bit I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer again and I'm just buffing it over my eyelids. This was going to be a no cut crease look but I feel like I do those too much so I decided to do something like a halo eye. Now I'm taking this neon pink shade and I'm putting it in the inner corners of my eye. looking color to set all the areas that we didn't put any other neon pink
find these eyelashes at your local beauty supply store. I buy mine off camera. I'm taking this glitter shade and I'm applying it to the inner corners of my eye. This shade was more pigmented than I thought, so I'm probably going to do another look using this color on my lids because it was so pretty. highlighting using my elf camo concealer in the color deep chestnut and i really didn't like this to me this concealer was too light but it was the darkest one i could find in store they had a darker shade but it looked like it had been played with like somebody was messing with it so i didn't want to buy it so this was the second darkest shade i'm more familiar with using this concealer as an eyeshadow base for that it's perfect because it's matte and it dries quick and it makes your shadows pop but as far as my face i think it dries too matte it doesn't like to blend out and it's too patchy so for my face i think it's trash i had to go over it using what i normally use which is my makeup revolution foundation in the color f13 and then i had to blend it out using that and later on you're gonna see me switch from my beauty blender sponge to my brush well you see it right now just because nothing was working like I feel like if I wouldn't have tried to use this concealer on my face then the tutorial probably would have been good all around but uh -uh, it just made me look too dry other video you probably can't tell just because I forgot to include the product clip but I'm using my black radiance press powder to set my face and then I'm gonna go in with the medium deep contour kit to set the perimeter of my face After that, I'm going to be applying my Maybelline Liquid Lipstick to my lips. And then I'm going to put on a wig and we're going to be done.
this bonnet just in case you were wondering girl these plaits only been in my head for a week and look at this new growth like girl but no we about to put a wig on top and act like it's not even there and this is the finished look i know i look pretty angry but it's just because i didn't feel like going to work This is the end. I love y'all. Bye-bye.